onze laatste dagen en we gaan het besteden met eten, Griekse eten. This is really good. Rob, yeah. that was our last meal in Greek. Yeah, it is. Exactly, well, Mister. Yeah, I've really had a nice time, except for getting my wallet in pocket. <laughs> other than that, and confiscating my Vegemite at the airport. <laughs> but other than and that, and the hour delay at the airport. Okay. And the taxi ripping us off. But other than that, <laughs> it was really good. Yeah, and and to be honest with you, except for the pickpocketing thing, the rest of it was minor. So it was good. <laughs> really enjoyed being at being at Greece, and yeah. I met up with my best friend and his wife. And That's the important part. We had a part. lovely time together with Amy and Susie. Yeah. So and that uh, the, the boat cruise and some of the sunsets and that we saw, just brilliant. We got to the airport and we saw that on the board that it says that our for our flight is final call. I don't know how that can be possible. It's like more than an hour before the schedule. Was I here now? We must have been in the road flight field. We were in a bit too late. I've been here so late. Yeah, so late. So late. Yeah, I know. I can't hear you. No. And here's a clue as to where we're going right now. Dobro, dobro den, dobro večer, blagodari, dobro dan. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Sofia. The local time is quarter to twelve. Please remain seated. We made it to our Airbnb. It was. A hassle getting here. So we had to go through like a pretty dodgy passageway <laughs> and we were very unsure about what we booked but we're here now. Um, it looks great. The place is pretty spacious. Pretty big. It's pretty big. It is very big. It's a hammock. We are going to head to bed and see the rest of the country, see the rest of the city tomorrow. This is the thing that I don't like about this apartment. This is the elevator. Okay, look at this. When you step on the floor, oh god, it's just, it goes down just a little bit. <laughs> It's, it's like not pleasant. Floor, it's like the floor is made up of a little bit of four ply. You have to close that barrier before it even goes. But when you say close, Nikki, 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 when you say close. <laughs> oh God, I hate going in this elevator. I'm not even afraid of heights. I'm just, you know, afraid of dying. And you can feel like the wooden floor, the wooden beams. Oh, oh God. <laughs> okay, go. Welcome in Sofia, Bulgaria. This is the central market of Sofia and it is a bit smaller than the one in Budapest, but we are really hungry, so we're looking for something local to eat. Heel klein, and we have nothing to find for eating, but I have well postcard and cooked, and I can also a bit of my Bulgarian oefen with the with the verkoper. What will you buy? Can you read? No, geen idee. Not a bloody clue. <laughs> Nikki busy writing postcards. Yeah. <laughs> on behalf the of the boat. Real of us. Souvenir that we get the people yeah. Rob says this beer is good. Kamenitsa, it's called. <laughs> <laughs> it's just wow. for her. No, it's for two. <laughs> wow. Wow. That's a lot. Thank La Guadalia. Why'd you order so much, Rob? Yeah. 
Okay, so Nikki's order has arrived. Oh, it's for both of us. I don't think so. It's called the Grill for Hungry. That's what they said. We're like, we're hungry. Yeah, very nice, Nikki. Esto es muy delicioso. Creo que es mejor que la comida en Grecia, en verdad, porque el sabor del carne es muy, muy rico. I finished eating some time ago. Um, well done, Nikki. It's a bit of an embarrassment because we had so much left, I just couldn't eat anymore. Okay, that's all, thanks. That was no match for the Lucky Dippers. Good job. Challenge accepted. And conquered. And conquered. <laughs> we need to come back here and stay for like a month because clearly we're missing out. That grill was $29.99. The beers were $5.78 and the water was $1.99. This was also a problem in Greece. We're standing here waiting to pay the bill. It always takes ages for, for them to come and give us the bill. And even now, like we could just walk away. There's nobody here. I don't get it. They're trying to give you money. I'm not sure if they care. <laughs> we are going on a free walking tour. We have a heard that Sofia, the second oldest state is in Europe. The first, the oldest, is actually Athens. These are the ruins of an old house in the fourth century when the city was called Serdega. Square of Tolerance, because that one is a Protestant church. We somewhere there is a Catholic church. That is a mosque. And that black dome there is actually the tip of the synagogue. So four different religions in close proximity. Key countries apparently who managed to save their Jewish population. And it was because of a cultural stereotype of Bulgarians being late. So it happened was when um, the Jews, when they were being sent to concentration camps in other countries, the Bulgarians um, said, oh, well, we need them for a few more months until we finish um, building a road or, or something like that. And it just kept going like that, and it just never happened. And it was 50,000 lives that were saved due to something as negative as being lazy. Do it! That's hot. That's like nearly boiling. Look, it's not boiling, but it's very hot. Scientists, however, consider this as the cold side. And it's the cold side because in other parts of Bulgaria there are much hotter water sources, including the second hottest mineral water spring in the world. The hottest one is in Iceland. The reason why this particular source is so popular is because a lot of people believe in the healing powers of these waters saying that they're great for uh, kidney problems, and stomach problems, and heart diseases, and broken hearts, guys. Sofia was heavily, heavily bombed on a few occasions during World War II, as more than 13,000 buildings were completely destroyed, and that forever changed the way that this city looked. The most legendary one of them all, the one in the middle is the former headquarters of the Bulgarian Communist Party. Tiene ruinas romanas, pero también tiene piedras con una inscripción en griego, que es muy interesante. None of the neighboring countries do it, but in Bulgaria, this means yes, this means no, everybody does it, I do it. If you ask me, do you want some water? I'll be like, yeah. We have um, finally arrived to what's probably the most important building in Sofia. This is the church Hagia Sophia that gave the name to the city. Wait, to pronounce the Greek expression is Sophia. If it's a female name, it's also Sofia. But in Bulgarian, if you talk about the city, the correct way to pronounce it is Sofia with the accent on the O. And I know that 
in some of your languages it sounds maybe better or more logical to say Sofia, but if you really want to impress a local, try and say Sofia. Yeah. Acabamos de aprender también que el nacimiento del alfabeto cirílico uh, estaba aquí en, en Sofia. Es muy importante y um, ha tenido una gran influencia en muchos países en el mundo. Don't forget to subscribe to join us in our travels.